It is a scenario that's hard to believe. An Auburn man tries to cash a check at his own bank and winds up in jail. And the King 5 investigators have learned the check in question was issued by the very bank that claimed it was a forgery. Buying his own home was a big accomplishment for construction worker Ikenna Njoku. He's only 28 years old. Njoku qualified for the first time home buyer rebate on his tax return. Njoku signed up to have the rebate deposited directly into his Chase bank account. But when the IRS rebate arrived, there was a problem. Chase had closed his account because of overdrawn checks in the past. The bank deducted $600 to cover what he owed them and mailed him a cashier's check for the difference, $8,463.21. When Njoku came here to cash the check at the Chase branch near his home, he was in for a nasty surprise. The check had his name and address right on it and was issued by J.P. Morgan Chase. But the customer banker who handles large checks at the Auburn branch was immediately suspicious. I was embarrassed. I mean, she asked me what I did for a living. You know, asked him where I got the check from. You know, looked at me up and down like, oh, you just bought a house in Auburn, really? You know, it's like she didn't believe that. The banker says the check looked fake, so she took it, along with Njoku's driver's license and credit card, and called bank support. Njoku says after about 15 minutes, he got impatient and told Chase he was leaving to do an important errand. By the time I got back, the, the branch was closed. Njoku says he called customer service and was advised to go back the next day to get his money. But when he arrived, it wasn't his money that was waiting for him. Hey, they just threw me in jail. He called the police and said, you know, this guy has a fraudulent check. Auburn police arrested Njoku for forgery, a felony crime. I was just like, well, you're making a mistake, you know. You're making a big mistake, you know. You're going to take me to jail, you know. But i got to work tomorrow, you know. I can't afford to, to miss work. Njoku was taken to jail on Thursday, June 24th. The next day, Chase realized its mistake. So they called and left Auburn police a voice message. But no one heard it. And Joku stayed in jail for the entire weekend. Finally, on Monday, he was released. And Joku's car was towed from the bank parking lot and his check seized as evidence. And my car got sold um, in auction. It got auctioned off. And my car got sold. Because you didn't have the money to get it out? Because I didn't have the money to get it out. I lost my job as well. After all of that, Njoku says he never heard a word from Chase. They haven't even sent me a letter or apologized. It's been a year we've been trying to contact these guys. Njoku says he's happy he bought his house, but sad his experience with Chase was so humiliating. They treated me like I was a criminal. He's just trying to cash a Chase check. At a Chase bank. At a Chase bank. Linda Byron, King 5 News.